I'm home. Can you even see me with the light in the back? Doesn't matter. Um, I just came home. I <laughs> put all the things here. I actually found that nearby, if I go like the other way where I usually go, there are a bunch of stores, like everything's so convenient. I just have to like look at the area a bit, but I'll do that later on. Um, but I did manage to buy some stuff, so let me give you a little haul and then I'll make my soup because I really want a soup and while that boils I will make give you a tour of the apartment. So let's do it. What do we start with? Oh, first of all, these three things that I'm going to show you cost me 60 yuan. Yeah. Um, so I bought a cutting board because I desperately need everything. Um, so this is this. Then I bought some clear wrapping paper, as you can see. And then I found a knife. Oh, four things. I also got this pen. Can you see it? It's a little blue pen. It has like a little animal at the top, but I needed a blue pen because mine is over. And then I got a knife. I really needed a knife and I, I was like showing the woman the motions. Um, and then I Google translated it and she showed me this one. Uh, I think it was the only one they had, but the fact that they had one was chef's kiss. I shouldn't put that in my mouth because <laughs> the outside is dirty. Okay, so this is the knife. I have a cleaver now, insane, okay. <laughs> I will have to get used to this because I'm used to European chef knives, but this is the cleaver and this is the second store I went to uh, because I entered one that looked like a grocery store and it was, uh, but they didn't have like knives and a cutting board and I bought all the vegetables from there and I'm like, wait, I need something to cut them with. So I got these. So these four things were 60 you Yuan. I'll put somewhere on the screen how much euro and dollars that is, but it's pretty decent. Um, and then we have all the groceries. So I got these um, and I, I got these towards the end, like as I was walking back to the, um, like as I was, uh, I finished all my shopping and then I saw these um, near the till and I was like, I picked them up and put them near the till and then the woman at the cash register, she typed it on her translating app that I picked some red bean stuffed buns and I was like, oh, I don't want that. And then she uh, typed on the translate steamed buns and I said, oh yeah. So she brought these to me and now I have steamed buns because I do think these would work great with uh, my soup, but wait. Do I have to steam them or are they already steamed? <laughs> God damn it. I don't know. Maybe I have to steam them. I thought I could just eat them like this. I'll have to Google this. This is a Googling thing. Um, and then, by the way, I wanted to film in there, but first of all, it's my first time going there. I wasn't going to film. And there was no one there because they're tiny shops, you know, and they have cameras everywhere. But that's besides the point. Today was the first time someone filmed me. Because I knew the thing, like, Chinese people aren't used to Westerners, so they filmed them. But I was like, damn, day three and I'm getting filmed. But I don't care, so I don't mind. But, you know, if you're a Westerner coming to China, just beware. People will film you at some point. Um, and then I got some sunflower oil. Um, I don't know anything about any brands, I just picked the first thing that I thought was a decent price and just that I needed because we're meat based in here because I have nothing in this apartment. Uh, so I got that and then I got some uh, bay leaves, I was like what is this called? I got some bay leaves, uh, I think these are bay leaves, they look like bay leaves but I will have to... Google Translate this because, again, nothing has English on the packaging in China. Like, usually they do, but this is China, so, you know. Um, so this was this bag, and then I got vegetables. And 
Coming from Europe, I wasn't used to them just giving you bags. I completely forgot that was a thing because in Europe, if you want a bag, you have to pay for it. And here they just give you the bags, which is both great and also they don't recycle that much. So if you're into recycling, maybe rethink it. But here we have the vegetable. I got a lettuce. No, this isn't a lettuce. I got a cabbage. I don't even know my vegetables. I got a cabbage because I want a cabbage soup. Um, there's a hair in here. I will wash it anyway, but that's fine. I got one singular potato. I got one singular carrot. And then I got one uh, garlic. So I was thinking of buying onions too, but I didn't see any in there. So this is perfect. And I didn't want to buy too much because I don't want to eat the same food forever. I'm only one person and I don't really have that many things. I don't want them to go bad. Food waste is enough. So that's what I got. And this was uh, 32 point something or 36 yuan. Let me check. Today is also the first day my WeChat pay works because again, we went to the bank with uh, my principal and um, we stayed there for an hour, one hour. Like the people at the bank were so nice, but they didn't know what to do because there are not that many foreigners apparently that come and want a credit card, a debit card. So I was like, okay. But we stayed there for um, an hour. Uh, okay, so this was 32.70 uh, yuan. And for some reason I got a discount because originally it's 37.70. I think that was a discount. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. I, I can't speak Chinese, but it, it's good. <laughs> I mean, love saving money. Again, we'll put the balance in here once I Google it, but uh, pretty good, like really good for the amount I got. I got oil, I got, yeah, I'd say it's really good. So. Um, I'm gonna make my soup and then I'll give you a house tour later and if not tomorrow, but same video for you. So bye. I forgot to mention this, but at work my principal gave me an egg and I brought it home in my cup just to make sure it's safe. I don't know if she has chicken or if she just, her parents gave it to her or I don't know. She just wanted to give me an egg, but I got an egg now. So tomorrow I'll eat it for breakfast. I don't know, it's so weird, but it's really nice, <laughs> my egg. Great, now that the soup is on the way to being done, um, well, still has a long way, but um, now that that's done, let me show you around the apartment, my apartment in China. It's very, very echoey because there's nothing here, but let's start 
with the whole way, I guess. That makes the most sense. Let me let me do that. Okay, so you have the door there and that's a little shoe rack. I need to put the shoes in it. One of them is dirty, so I'm keeping it out to wash. But you walk in like this and look how beautiful. It's so big as well. That's why it's echoing like crazy. And it's so nice. Look at this wallpaper. I love it so much. Look at it, gorgeous. And there's like a little area to eat and in the morning it's the most stunning view ever because it's just, well, it's a bunch of apartment blocks but I love the view. And there's a little desk, I've never eaten there yet but I have only been here for three days so there's that. Um, a little sofa and then we have this here. They put my internet yesterday which I'm so thankful for. Um, this I keep moving. <laughs> to put my camera to film on because this is the perfect size and I don't have a tripod with me but it's doing a great job and then this is like an open plan you have the kitchen over here which makes it look bigger the kitchen is quite small but as you can see it is beautiful I need a trash can there's so many things I need my soup being made uh, there's a lot of storage like there and then there's up there this is the fridge this is a washing machine i have not used it yet and i still have to clean it on the inside um but i will do that because i do need clean clothes but i don't have detergent yet so i'll do it um in the weekend and then these are flowers i received from um the principal when the, she met me at the airport and they're so beautiful but they are on their last life, so I will have to throw them today or tomorrow. Um, that's also a plant that was left in this apartment. And as you can see, it's very like dry, but I watered it and I hope to bring it back to life. So then I can have a plant. Um, my phone is over there that there are so many plugs in this house. And it's great that they have the European and the Chinese because it was, I only bought one adapter, but I didn't need it because everything is European so it's good then we have this part i'm there hi <laughs> you get uh, you come through here and to the left door you enter and it's like a bedroom slash office it's a mess on the table because i don't have where to put those things but this is like the office area that i've made and then you go back and you have this door over here which is beautiful um but i don't understand why it's a glass door for a bathroom but whatever uh then we have this interesting plug uh, well light switch system which is okay again um that's me hi uh this is the bathroom you have a toilet that's my shirt that i wash for tomorrow um, this is the window and it's a giant window in the bath, which I don't understand. So I put a bit of newspaper. So when I take a shower, not everyone can see me. Um, and then there's the boiler and that's the bathroom. And then you come through the last door through here. And ta-da! This is the master bedroom, I want to say, or the biggest bedroom. Uh, you have the closet over there, um, a little um, nightstand, which is just like a coffee table, to be honest. And then there's the window again. It's the view is a bunch of um, skyscrapers. They're not really skyscrapers. It's a bunch of um, buildings, but I love that this has this thing here so I can make it like a little book nook so I can read. See? It's giant. So I can read sometime when I'm more like <laughs> relaxed and I have things settled a bit because right now there is nothing. So that was the room um, and that was the apartment. Let me just... Um, that was the apartment. It's huge. Um, the kindergarten did so good. <laughs> Finding the apartment, honestly, I thought it would be a studio, much smaller, and I would have been fine with that, but this is huge, and um, I have so much space, so hopefully I will be in the, this position for a very long time, because if I keep buying things that I need, um, it will add up, and moving will be a nightmare, but this is the apartment, my beautiful, beautiful apartment in China, and I love it. I still haven't paid 
any utilities, so I don't know how much they cost. And it will be winter, so they will be a little bit higher. Um, and the kindergarten pays for the apartment, so I don't know how much rent is this on is on this thing, but I'm very grateful that they do pay for it. So um, hope I'm going to have a great time here. So you'll see a bunch of vlogs in here. Also, um, I still haven't got the courage to film in public because I'm the only Westerner here, and the places that I live near are very small shops there is not like the center of the city that no one cares it's very small shops so i'm like baby steps you know baby steps so we'll do that but this is the apartment again let me put you here look how big it is do you see that you can't even see me like it's giant it's so echoey but i love it i love it so much so I'm waiting for my soup, it smells amazing. I am starving. Uh, I think I'm going to have maybe a mooncake while I wait and I'm going to Google if I need to steam my steam buns. But I guess I'll end this here because, I don't know, do you want to see my soup done? Maybe I'll film that as well, but I won't film myself eating. So I don't think so. If I do, well, you'll see it at the end. But. This is it, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Please comment below. What do you think about my apartment? Isn't it amazing? I love it. And please subscribe for more content from China while I'm in China. It's just, you never know what you're gonna get, but I promise it's gonna be good. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Ta-da, it is done. Look how beautiful it is. I decided that I wanted to Taste it with you. Can you see me? I hope you can. Hope that was nothing important. Um, we'll figure it out later. Um, but I wanted to try this with you like this. And I also looked online and everyone was asking about the frozen things, if they can be steamed. But this one, I'm pretty sure you can eat it just like this. I tried to like steam it a tiny bit from the steam in here, but it should be fine. Um, it's a little cracked because I thought of splitting it apart, but then I thought, wait, let's try steaming it. So that's why, but let's open it with you. Oh, it's just like a bun. I thought it had something inside. That's my bad. Oh, so I definitely, well, maybe I needed to steam this, but let's see. Hmm, I do think it needs to be steamed. But with my cabbage soup, this is going to be amazing. Chef's kiss, like so amazing. Let's see how the soup tastes. There's also the uh, little bay leaf. Put that to the side. I have never made a one portion soup, but this is the first time I did. And I am amazed with myself because making food for one person is the most difficult thing in the world. Okay, let me come closer and try to move the camera. Still not good. I'll just crunch for you, okay. Let's get a potato, the best part of any soup. Oh, it's gonna be so hot. Okay, okay. I also used salt and pepper that I took from uh, the airport meals. Uh, and it's a good thing I did take them because I forgot to buy them at the store. I didn't even think to buy salt and pepper because you always have them. So I will have to buy them at one point. But I'm glad I had some, so. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> this potato tastes so much like a potato. I don't know how to explain it. It's the best potato I've ever had. Oh my god. Okay. Let me try a carrot too. <laughs> I've never tried vegetables that taste more like vegetables. I don't... It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's like if a strawberry tasted like it smells. Does that make sense? I feel like the potatoes I used to buy usually just didn't have a lot of flavor, but this one, you can taste the potato. <laughs> it's so good. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm just, I'm amazed. So I'm going to thoroughly enjoy my soup and eat it with my steam bun that is now steamed 
I will have to buy a steaming basket at one point too. But see how many things keep adding up. Anyway, um, I'm gonna eat my meal and this is the final goodbye, okay? <laughs> bye bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.